We're back with Alex Newman in Rio de Janeiro. Alex, you've been in the press corps there, the media center, and you've been on some of the press conferences. Have you witnessed even one example of a reporter other than yourself who has challenged the UN speakers and officials to justify where they get the authority to propose imposing their global agenda upon the entire planet? Well, the press, that's, uh, to me, it's quite a sad spectacle, actually. It's a lot of these journalists are just sitting in the media room waiting for the UN to come hand out the press releases. They'll type it up and, you know, UN said in a statement. And that's pretty much what's being pumped out of here in massive quantities in the, you know, state-run propaganda outlets in other countries and in the American media as well, it seems, so far. As far as people challenging, you know, these scientists and these experts and these policymakers on what they're doing. We've seen one friendly here. We've had one friendly journalist. Uh, he is kind of working undercover and I think he's getting some good footage and some good clips, but the, he's you know not part of the mainstream media. The vast, vast majority here internationally, they it's essentially just worshipping, I mean, adoring these UN people and these green groups and all everything that they're up to. The UN leaders today made some spectacular claims concerning the supposed impending extinction of thousands of species, due of course to human pollution, they say. Is anyone challenging these extravagant claims? Uh, we did go to one press conference today. It was actually a pleasant surprise, a breath of fresh air, considering this entire conference seems to be just a giant hive mind, everybody thinking the same thing. And we had Lord Moncton there, the guys from CFAC, and they did challenge. They, uh, you know, they use science, they use logic, they use reason to make their case, a very strong case, I think, that these claims that the UN is making are absolutely without basis in science, without basis in objective evidence. And what we're seeing here is that nobody went to that press conference. Nobody wanted to hear, you know, the other side of the story. Everybody just wants to hear the UN claims that we're all doomed. And I guess it makes for a better story, maybe, if you're a media outlet, you got to get the sensational headlines, we're all doomed. It also works good for the UN, you know, give us power, we'll save your life. But uh, in reality, you know, there's not much of that going on. That was just one event that we went to, and that's about what we saw. Thank you, Alex. Stay tuned to our continuing coverage of Rio Plus 20.